Oscar Abbey, you can see, on the outside. <clears throat> now I'm walking in towards the square, the Oscar Square there. And we'll go take a look at the, there's a statue there of uh, Nicky Rackard. I'll tell you a little bit about Nicky Rackard. Ireland has uh, Cullen, Wexford has Nicky Rackford. He was a legend of Wexford. Here's a place where you can have a cup of tea or coffee or some very expensive wine tonight. It's Green Acres. And here's the statue. Nicky Rackard. He was born in April 28, 1922, and he died on April 10, 1976. He was 53 years old. He was a Rathnir man. He won four Leinster titles in hurling, one in football, two Ireland's in hurling, and one league hurling championship, and four club senior club hurling champions. He was a real legend. He died uh, way too young. Here's the part of the main town. It's very quiet now. Town doesn't usually open up till about 12, uh, 10 o'clock. It comes to life. There's an Asian uh, shop over there I'm gonna go into later when it opens after 10, after the tour maybe, or just before it. That's where I get my uh, Asian spices and food. And then uh, it goes all the way up to my main street. It's a nice little main street. You can walk from one end of town to the other in like 10 minutes. So it's a, it's a handy place to go. And there you can see Selzgar Abbey in the back there. You can still see it. Okay, we just walked up the, where the, towards the library. You can see it's a new modern building. I'm not really, I, per, I particularly like the old style buildings. And you can see the town wall behind it in the back. And in the back corner, you can see the, the chapel running up. That's uh, Rose Street Church. And there's a, it's, there's twin ch chapels in Wexford Town. So then they don't get a cathedral because they decided to build two, basically replicas. About half a mile down the road, there's the other one, which is Bride Street Chapel, which are, they're basically clones of each other. There's an old, old bar called Mary's Bar. A lot of history involved in that. You could do your research online about that. And then you can see the another street that goes down. And if you follow this street all the way down, you get to the uh, you would get to the uh, Wexford uh, uh, Opera uh, Opera House. It's a national opera house. So it's and then every uh, every fall we have a ten day period where people from all over the world come and they uh, they have uh, operas and the town really jumps to life with culture. There's a lot of arts exhibitions and. All the major hotels have the uh, artists' uh, paintings and that for sale, and it's just a good time of the year. And also, just before that, we also have the uh, Spiegel tent, which is the erectus old Spiegel tent, and uh, very fancy. And uh, it goes on for about 10 days as well. And you have bands and and entertainment facilities happening during that time. It's really brought a life to. Wexford so you have a couple of weeks back to back that there's something happening in Wexford. Now we're gonna walk towards Barrack Street and where the barracks are for in Wexford. There's a nice little alleyway that takes you behind all the buildings and there's a few little people living on there there's a few houses I thought they were always cute and quirky. And even this is a nice view. Like, look at the the stones, buildings, and the appearance when you're walking down. Like, I always think it's nice. A few of these properties here are getting going to be getting worked on. Like, you used to have, believe it or not, this street used to have a lot of derelict properties, but uh, they've gotten a lot of work in the last uh, last ten years. And here's where you turn off. 
So you come to this stone wall, turn to your right, and then look, it's like a little oasis, and then you're walking up to someone's house. Like, how would you get by here with a car? Like, super tight. But I think it's very nice, very quaint. Look at it. And there's the back of the main streets and the back buildings, so. But here's part of the old town wall. And it comes to a little row of houses, which I also find spectacular. And here we go. Coming up. See these little houses that are nestled in against the wall. This used to be a St. Mary's Church. There's an old graveyard up there. You can see that. And then these houses that are just on this little laneway. I always thought they were cute. And this takes us to Bride Street. And if you look to the right, to see the Bride Street Chapel, which is the twin of the one on Rose Street. And then we walk down towards the Main Street again. This is the, the very end of the south of the Main Street. We're coming up to Bugard Oils, which is a, a watering hole. And just the last little stretch of the Main Street. And then we're going to be heading up Barrack Street. And that'll end the tour for today. Please remember to uh, like my channel, subscribe, and comment. Give me some suggestions of places where you want me to see me go. And uh, hopefully it'll get better and better as I get on with the editing. And uh, my next walk is going to be um, in Tamon, the village of Tamon. We're going to do from around Tamon all the way to uh, Brown's Castle. And there's a few uh, historic places and it's about 13, 14 kilometers from where I'm staying. So I'll hike there probably during the week, sometime after work, uh, especially if we keep having this weather. There's a few, few pubs here, and buildings, and then you can see the, the wall right ahead of us, and that was the start of the Barrack Street. Here's an antique shop. And then here's an electric bike store. It's really cool. It has all these. Believe it or not, that's an electric bike. And here's King Street and Barrack Street and then the end of the Main Street. And if you look to the left, you can see the water again. So that shows how close we are to the water. And then we'll walk up, take a look at, like I said, the old wall just continues on and it stops right up here at the barracks. And that'll end our tour. Thanks for watching. Here's the start of the barracks right here. And the entrance way is coming up just on to the left up here. It'll probably be closed in a Saturday. Let's see if we can poke our heads in. Take a look. Here we are. You can see the Reserve Defense Forces, E Company, 3rd Infantry Battalion.
can't really get much in there, but and that'll be the that'll be the end of the tour. I want to thank everyone for uh, pay, uh, staying and visiting me, and uh, please feel free to uh, subscribe and share the video. Thank you.